poop, poop. to the motorhome and campervan show in Exeter. This is part two of a two-parter. Check out part one in the links below. Last time on Bonjour Moto. Oh, it's auto trends. Really? Pick wardrobe. Oh, the pickles come to have a look. What do you think, pickle? That's impressive. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't think I could go to the toilet on that toilet. <laughs> it would be so weird. Okay. And now the conclusion. We're going to show you a mixture of camper vans and motorhomes, different ages, price ranges and layouts, so you can get an idea of what's out there to buy in the world of van life at the moment. That's a comfy little one. Mm -hmm. Comfy little Wellington version. Obviously it's at 60 grand. And it's not much. A Ford Transit Custom Adventure Edition. Swiveling bench at the front. That's funky. How did swivel that all the way around. But yeah, you have to watch your head. Could you stand up inside it? Yeah, because it's got a pop top. Oh, so if the roof wasn't up, you wouldn't be able to? No, you wouldn't. So it's got a two ring burner and a little mini sink with a folding tap. Tiny little knockers. You don't get much, do you, really, for your 60 grand. And then this whole thing is the fold down bed I suppose. You know that's going to fold down on struts so potentially you could leave your bed made up I suppose. So it's got five belted seats so good for a family. I think if you had a little family, a young family. Five? Yeah, yeah. And here we've got a man. This is on a 54999. Oh my goodness. That's on a Ducato. Yeah. This is a 2020 model, so this is new. Well, it'll be interesting to have a feel inside like that. Here's the habitation door. Oh, it's at the front. front. Yeah. Primero U83 model. Oh, so yeah, you wouldn't even need an electric step, really. You can just get straight in. I like the light colours. So many new vans have got a lot of grey everywhere, but this is nice. It's got a sofa there. Oh, it points forward? Yeah, it's like a train carriage style, a swivelling table. It's got two belted seats there. Big storage area up here and huge big skylight, but no over cab bed. Nice big lockers, they feel solid. Three ring burner. Decent sized sink. Bathroom. And you've got a bathroom, yeah. It's an all in one type shower and toilet, but actually, the, it looks like it's got a swiveling door that unclips. Yes. And then you can separate off the shower cubicle. You've got a really nice big tall toilet, little window, a huge mirror which makes it feel bigger. Some storage there. And a Skylight with some ventilation. So you've got another table. Wow, goodness, a bed. Yeah, I suppose those those pull together. They've got handles under the benches that look like they pull out. So you could keep your bed down all the time at the back. You could, yeah, yeah. Lots of storage around there. It's nice and light in here. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's really nice. Look at the size of that skylight. Yeah. So how much was that on it? This one is 55000 That's great. Nice price. It's not a bad price for a 2020, I wow. suppose. Hobby? Hmm? I haven't heard of Hobby. Yeah, I've heard of them, but I know nothing about them. We could have a look at this Hobby. Okay. Optima On Tour is the model. <laughs> how much is this at? 73000 Wow. Oh, it's big and roomy inside. It's got a uh, French bed. It. Yeah, that's a big French bed. Very spacious in the bedroom. Oh gosh, it's a bathroom. Gosh, it's huge. I thought this was just going to be a wardrobe. It's got an enormous shower like you'd have in a house. Big sink as well. That's a decent sized sink for a, for a motorhome bathroom. Cupboards all the way across the back as well. Gosh, they're deep. Is this the bathroom? Yeah, it's full width. Wow. It's amazing. Gosh, that's the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in a motorhome. That is full width. Wow. 
but then you've got a smaller seating area because you've got the fixed bed. So you've got a small oven, it's just a small grill I think. It's this three ring gas hob, little diddy sink. Don't forget to visit bonjourmotorhome.com for more about all the vans we saw. your slimline fridge that's a decent fridge actually even though it's narrow you can fit everything you need in there you could put a microwave in there wow hold the table i like it it's a nice finish quite a long way down to that step mm, it's very nice though oh, very nice oh. should we look at some more comfort yes is this going out to one of the vehicles yeah, there's loads of fans out here. Pilot. Well, what's that built on? It feels like a duplicate. Gosh, it's new, brand new. That's interesting to look at a brand new van. It's a very funky matte finish on the decals. So you've got the back doors there. Oh, that's the door. Okay. Oh wow, so you've got uh, pretty much a fixed bed at the back. Storage underneath. Oh, that's a bit of space in there for storage. So that's for your gas bottles in there. And a cupboard on the other side. You've got your blinds on the windows. Like headboards at the back, they're not windows. You'd probably keep that set up as a bed most of the time. Ah, go off. Oh, there is an electric step. Got your yeah, fold out worktop extension. Versatile swiveling table. Swiveling captain's chairs in leather. <laughs> Ooh, very fancy. Yeah, you've got four belted seats, two ring burner, very funky. It's quite a big sink actually because it's not square. It does have an oven, Thetford Combi oven, it's big enough to do a meal. This is the fridge, and then just a freezer compartment in the top. It's not a huge fridge, no. and it's got um, an all in one bathroom. It's got a bathroom. Yeah, it's just all in one. The toilet slides back out of the way when you have a shower. Oh, it's got a fold-down sink, which is funky. It's not dark in the bathroom. It's got like and a window in there. And does it feel like a good finish? Yeah, it's all very, very nicely built. It's lovely and light with sort of whites and creams and pale wood. And then it's got a darker lino floor. Dark floor and lighter walls makes the pan feel bigger. And how would you compare it with, say, living in a motor like Melvin? Oh, so much less space, really. Not a lot of living space. No. If you had a rainy day, yeah, it's not a huge amount of living space. No. And it's not that much smaller. There's not a lot of places that you can go in that that you can't go in Melv, because mm. they're quite comparable size on the outside. Mm -hmm. You just get a lot less on the inside. So I don't think it's a good compromise. It wouldn't be for me. No. I like my motorhome. Might not be as cool and funky as a camper van, yeah. but we like our motorhome. Yeah, but it looks very nice though. It does, it's very stylish. Now here's something a bit different. If you're not sure whether you want a motorhome or a camper van, something like this could be the option for you. So what's this? A Weinsberg built on a VW. This is very funky looking. I haven't seen one of these before. It's really compact, less than six meters long. Let's have a look inside this one. This one's less than six meters. It feels really small inside. Ah, so you've got a fridge here, right inside the door. It's quite a decent size. Gosh, it feels really narrow, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it's got a huge mirror that makes it feel big. It's got a big wardrobe. It, oh wow, that's you can access that from the outside as well. It's like a full height garage there. Big wide work surface, but you've got a little two ring hob. So it's not huge. And a very little sink. It's like a cross between a camper van and a motorhome really. You get a little bit more than a camper van, but a little bit less than a motorhome. All in one bathroom. Moves over, turns it into a great big shower unit. That's great, that. That's very clever. So you've got a very decent sized shower. It's got a skylight and some cupboards in there. Even a hanging rail for your 
for your wet stuff. I assume the bed slides towards the back of the van. It folds down, it's above you. It's like a cantilever bed. Oh. It's in the ceiling, wow. And then you've got a huge skylight above. This is ace. Can I pull this down? I think so. It comes, it sort of swings forward as well. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. And that must be an enormous bed. Yeah, this is an awesome bed. Oh, it's very nice. It's funky, isn't it? It's German, so it's going to be well made. Wow, that's a nice motorhome. I think for me that's been the highlight of the show, seeing that one. We had a great time at the Exeter show, we'll definitely be back next year. Hi, I'm Malish and I love travelling in our van. You have to go left a bit. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm severely sight and bad, but I still love going out in Melvin the Motor. What are you doing? Hi, I'm Kiva and I love Pickle. <laughs> Hello, I'm Melvin the Motorhome. And together we want to travel the world. And we hope you join us on our adventures. Yeah.